What's up, everyone? This is Kevin Hellions for Hellions Wrestling. We're still discussing the March 3rd edition of ECW. Now, I have played here in the background the match of Alicia Fox versus Natalia. Now, Natalia, we know, is a credible wrestler. Hart family, you know, what is she, third, fourth generation at this point, depending on what Hart family tree, I guess, you want to go by and WWE promote. Anyways, very impressive. You know, you can you can say nothing but good things about Natalia. However, it's interesting what they're doing with Alicia Fox in this match. Now, she does, uh, she's got a bunch of leg moves. She did, like, a split down drop to avoid a move. She did, like, a little split uh, head takedown thing. She does uh, split into a moonsault, kind of. It was kind of split like a moonsault, but not, because RPD. But anyways... It was very interesting, all the moves she's using, but Alicia, Alicia Fox, I have to tell you something. You're not the girl that does the splits, okay? Melina has that locked up, all right, from one of the most creative uh, wrestling entrances of all time to the moves that she can do when she tries with the splits. They're impressive, they're rare, not everyone can do them, it works, that's her gimmick. Sorry, Alicia, your gimmick is the black girl. You are the only female African American in WWE. I think even counting developmental. There's no one else. I'm sorry, but you've become a token. If you think I'm wrong, what's your gimmick? You come out and dance. That's how much thought they've put into you and your gimmick. First, you were the wedding planner, and you had the whole thing with Edge and Vicky Guerrero. Interesting. Interesting, where are we going with this? And then suddenly you've moved to Europe and you're a dance pro and you will bring dancing into your matches. Alright. It's kind of lame. Nothing against Alicia Fox, beautiful woman. Hope for the best. But when you have TNA with the most diverse group of women wrestlers ever, and then we have WWE with one black girl, soon to be one Asian girl, and then everyone else, it kind of falls flat. It doesn't seem as genuine. It really seems more of a token thing. It doesn't seem like they actually want you, Alicia Fox. It seems like they want a black girl on the roster. Because we've had Jacqueline, we've had Jazz, and I think they may have even been there at the same time, which is stunning. Crystal came and went very quickly. And I think that's it. Can you name any other ones that have been WWE? I'm not saying Vince is racist or anything. It's just very surprising. Now, TNA, we have Jacqueline, Kong, Rocket Khan, Sojo Bolt. And it's TNA and women wrestling, so they could bring in someone else, like, tomorrow. And fit right in and give them a push and it'd be amazing. And here we have our one. I don't know. Um, do you think WWE and the women are race? Or sorry, WWE is racist towards women. We know they're sexist, but do you think they're racist as well? Contact us here on this YouTube channel at uh, hellingsmagazine at gmail dot com or wherever else you may find us. We're all over the internet. Let me know what you think, and we'll be back here later to discuss the main event of ECW.